What's up, everybody? Nice to have you back. Uh, DC Fandom went down today. I took a look at the first, I guess, teaser trailer or scene reveal for Black Adam. Um, I, that one, and then haven't been any really big trailers that had dropped. I know they kind of first looks of it, a few things, but there's a teaser trailer for Peacemaker, and they did this whole big panel, and I loved The Suicide Squad. It was one of my favorite movies of the year so far. I thought it was just so funny so different i loved it and i thought john cena was one of the best parts of the entire movie i've never been a massive fan of john cena but i thought this is easily his best role and he's having fun with it and his comedic delivery was fantastic throughout the entire movie so when they said they were doing a series on hbo max i was pretty excited about it i saw the first like scene that they released that i liked a lot and then they had this whole panel with everybody. So uh, I'm going to take a look, react to that. And if you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We do a show called The Big Thing every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just had on Katie Sackoff from The Mandalorian uh, on the show, uh, CM Punk. And it's we basically just covered like a big thing topic. We're doing rewatches, uh, a whole bunch of other things. So please go and check that out if you can. But without any further ado, let's check out the teaser trailer for Peacemaker. Jamil, you cool? What does that mean? Truth is, I'm supposed to be in prison. For what? Superhero stuff. What superhero are you? Peacemaker. Get out of here! There's no superhero called Peacemaker! Dude, I'm famous! You're a born killer with expertise in every weapon on the human side. There's a ball bag hanging out. I'm giving you the chance <laughs> to stay out of prison and work for me. Kill people. Bad people. This is hardcore. We are handler in the field. John Economist, Tech and Tactics. And this is our new recruit, Ade Bayo. You don't have to shoot people after you already killed them. Right. I Who's love the guy that's picking out behind the trash can? Rachel Annie's trying to be helpful. <laughs> our first target is Senator Roland Goff. Goff may be traveling with his family. Are you sure those two kids came out of those parents? That's an attractive couple. That one looks like it came out of them, but the other one looks like a butt baby. A butt baby. Yeah, my older brother told me there's two types of babies. One that comes out normal, and then butt babies. Worse in every way, they come out of a woman's butt. No, I believed I was a butt baby until I was like 14. That explains a lot. There's something about him that's sad. Hey, Dad. I didn't much for going to a Nancy boy like you. Great hair. No, lately I'm just like a maniac. No, no. That's because we're born killers. What separates us from other killers is we only kill bad people. Usually. Unless there's a mistake. You use being a jerk as a way to push people away. You <laughs> suck at PowerPoint. But if you would just drop that, people actually might like you. Shit. This looks good. January 13th, okay. January 13th. Man, uh, I'm a, I'm pretty I'm pretty pumped up that James Gunn. I didn't realize this when the scene came out. I didn't realize that James Gunn was so involved with it. And and then obviously after seeing the panel that they put on um, of the writing and the directing of a lot of episodes and putting this all together, it seems like the same type of humor. And the big question, if you, I don't want to spoil the Suicide Squad for people who didn't see it, but the question they asked this question in the panel is if, uh, as far as redeeming this character who has just done some pretty rotten shit, um, can you like him? And I think that's the that's what John Cena is able to do in this role, is that he is he's 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 a, such an annoying pain in the ass, but he's still there's something kind of likable about him because he's kind of thinks he's doing the right thing, but. 
he's and he's just a straight up murderer but like it's 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 a weird dynamic that's what i really like about this series inside of the suicide squad now and this dynamic is that's what i liked about the. it reminded me very similar to like kick ass and things that i'd seen and just that that raw style and my favorite part about the suicide squad was that all the humor seemed to actually blend in and make sense and is you're establishing what this tone is and i think that that's exactly what you're doing here and they're already making it pretty clear that the new his new dynamic um with the woman who says to him if you just drop the act people would actually like you and i think that that's kind of the overall arc for the story but i'm i'm in I'm in. I'm in. I was I was in the second I saw the movie and heard that there was a series coming out, and then I saw that scene I was in. Now I'm really in. This this teaser was fantastic. But I don't know. You guys, what do you think? Is Peacemaker something that you guys want to see? Do you care? Do you not care? Go ahead and comment. Tell me what you think. And please, if you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe and keep on checking. I'm going to do all the other trailers that come out. I don't know what other trailers are coming out. I'm not sure. Heard certain things, but then it seems to be some more featurettes. I'm going to, I don't know how much of the featurettes I'm going to do. Definitely will do the Batman trailer. But thank you for checking it out. We'll see you soon. Peace.